Hi, welcome to Flash for the Non-Geek, and in this lesson what we're going to do is we're going to load a movie into a movie clip. And I explained a little bit about movie clips in an earlier exercise. I'm going to talk more about it in upcoming exercises. It's a big part of uh, working with Flash, and I'll show you how to do it. But the reason you load in movies separately is just to cut down on the file size. You don't really want to embed a lot of movies into your header or your Flash website. It just makes for too big of a file. So, okay, let's get started. If you want the files for this exercise, go to nongeekbooks.com and click on the Flash Tutorials button. So let's get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a video. Let me open it up here. We're going to have a video load in to the TV set. This is an old black and white movie my brother and I made a while ago called Destination Mars. We're going to have this movie load in and it's going to seem like it's within the TV set. So let's get started. Uh, make sure you lock layer one because we're kind of done with that. Create a new layer and name it target. Next, turn off your stroke color, and you do that by clicking on the stroke color and clicking on this box with a red line through it. Click on fill color, select any color. Next, select the rectangle tool, make any shape like that. Select it. Now we want this to be transparent, so we select it. You'll see all the little white dots. Go to fill color, change the alpha to zero. So now, unless you click on it, it's transparent. So click on it, go to modify, convert to symbol, and we're going to name this target. And you can only load movies into movie clips, which is why we made it a movie clip. But since we're going to control it, we need to give it a name. So open up your properties panel. If you don't see it, go to window, properties, and properties. And in the properties panel, in the instance name field, type in target, just like that. So now, this movie clip is named Target. Create one more layer, name it Actions. Click on the first keyframe and open up the Actions panel. And if you don't see it, go to Window, Actions. And make sure the Script Assist here is turned on. And go up to Global Functions, click it once, go to Browser Network, and then go to Load Movie, double click it. The URL it's just the name of the file, which is Mars SWF. That's that video I just showed you. Location would be target. And you can load movies into levels or targets. I'll, sh I'll show you how to do levels later in another exercise. For now, we're just going to do target. And the target is a movie clip. Slash target. Because target is the name we gave that movie clip. So we close this up. Now if you go to control, test movie. There we go. Now you notice it's not right over the TV set. It should be right over the TV. Since it's loading into this movie clip here, if we move this movie clip, it's going to move the loaded movie along with it. So we're going to test it again. And this time it's a little bit better. We're going to go right here. And that should be about, that's about right. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on the target layer create a new layer, grab your pen tool, and zoom into the stage about 200%. And with the pen tool, what you want to do, it's called a Bezier pen. You might be familiar with it if you use Photoshop. But the great thing about this is, if you click once up here, and then click once on one of the corners, you can click and drag. And that allows you to kind of round the edges of the path. So you just kind of want to follow the, just kind of follow the screen, just like this. And then when you're done, click on the first keyframe. That'll close it. Next thing you want to do is grab your paint bucket tool, right here. Click on any color, and go ahead and click inside of the stroke. So now, on layer nine, we have the shape here. That's going to be our mask. So we're going to right click on layer 9 and select mask. Now, when we test the movie, you'll notice our movie is now playing within the TV set. 
but it's kind of too big for the TV. So here's what you can do. Unlock the mask and the target and turn the visibility off for layer 9 or it could be a different layer name but the mask layer. Turn the visibility off. Select your target right here and then grab your free transform tool and we're going to make this a little bit smaller and we're going to hit control enter test their movie that's a little bit better you notice it might be a little bit too low now so what I'm going to do is kind of position this back up here and we're going to test it one last time and it, yeah that looks about right now in another exercise what we're going to do is we're going to create a remote control that's actually going to control the video make it stop rewind play and uh, there's a few other things I'm going to show you, but uh, that's it for this exercise. I hope you learned something, and for more lessons, go to nongeekbooks.com. Thanks for watching.